My name is Ricardo Oroca and I lead the Millimeter Wave ASIC team here at Acacia. Uh, the Millimeter Wave ASIC team designs the high-speed signal path between the DSP ASIC and the silicon photonics chips on our modules. Some of the key challenges we're trying to address are meeting the, the need for higher bandwidths and um, lower power consumptions, designing the interface between the big DSP ASIC and the silicon photonics at higher and higher baud rates is one of the key challenges in this industry. It's a unique challenge that requires a combination of knowledge from optoelectronics to mixed signal. So in, in tackling that challenge of co-packaging and really uh, what I would say is the next generation of system design, you have to break away from the conventional model of designing individual pieces. Uh, one of the conventional ways in, in RF circuitry is having a common interface, a 50 ohm interface, for example. Uh, eliminating these common interfaces are kind of the, the easiest and first step towards creating a more efficient system. In order to uh, address customer demand and customer requirements, we really have to think in terms of dollars per gigabit per second. So we need to think very efficiently on how we're gonna tackle those problems. It's always been the case in, in kind of the traditional legacy designs, the most efficient technology, especially in terms of cost, is going to be the most integrated technology. I'd say Acacia does an incredible job of, of maximizing the efficiency of silicon photonics, and that really our ultimate goal is to squeeze every last gigahertz out of that. The intrinsic device performances are incredible, um, they're incredibly fast, and they're always limited by parasitics and how we interface with those photonic integrated circuits. It's kind of like if you have a Ferrari, but you're driving it on the beach, you're gonna be completely limited. What we can do is we can collaborate with those design teams in order to change the architectures, uh, eliminate those parasitics in order to take that Ferrari and put it onto a racetrack. I think one of the most exciting aspects about working here at Acacia is the fact that it's so vertically integrated. I have access to the world's best silicon photonics designers, DSP designers, ASIC engineers, and they're all sitting right next to me and the beauty of it is that we're able to collaborate together to create new systems. I think that breaking free of that old siloed approach where you're really working on a subsystem and optimizing it, you need to look at the whole system. You're really gonna be left behind if you're not truly pushing the bounds of your work and overlapping it with other expert teams. So what I enjoy most about working here at Acacia is the gained perspective that I've acquired. Uh, I, the starting point from where I tackle new solutions today is vastly different than where it was before. And that's really because it's been shaped by the many other experts I work with daily on all the different fronts of our module. When you see the results, it's definitely very exciting and you really look you know, right and left and it, it's more a fact of appreciation and gratitude for the team that you're a part of. And that sense of gratitude for the people that I work with is is overwhelming here and I think one of the best parts about working at Acacia you find that you not only have technical expertise ranks in the top in the world but you have excellent people who are humble and really allow the ideas to flow to the top and to me that that makes all the difference you know coming in every day working on hard problems with cool people is kind of my life goal <laughs>